always said the future would be electric, but they forgot to mention who would be in charge. For years, China positioned itself as the true center of gravity for global batteries. With 95% of global LFP battery production in Chinese hands and 85% of global manufacturing capacity concentrated within its borders, its dominance seemed unshakable. But now, in 2026, an unexpected piece is turning the tables. Aluminum. And this isn't just any improvised attempt. It's Tesla's new, quiet, and strategic move that threatens to break this near-total dependence on minerals controlled by Beijing. While most of the world still relies on lithium refined in China, Tesla takes a bold turn and begins testing aluminum-ion batteries in its most anticipated line, the Model 2. It's as if Elon Musk saw the geopolitical trap forming years ago and is now ready to break out of it with a domestic, affordable, and powerful solution. The most intriguing thing? This move didn't come out of nowhere. It was the result of a series of discrete acquisitions, internal research, and, most importantly, the urgency to reduce strategic risks that have been accumulating in the industry for over a decade. Since 2015, the Chinese government has injected more than $50 billion in subsidies to cement its leadership in the sector. This not only artificially lowered costs, but also stifled competition, forcing automakers worldwide to rely on Chinese components. However, this castle was built on a scarce and increasingly competitive material, lithium. With only 51 million tons available on the planet, 70% of which is concentrated in three countries, the pressure for control and the risk of collapse increase with each new electric car manufactured. Tesla saw a weakness that many overlooked, the supply chain. The Chinese monopoly extends not only to extraction, but also to the most critical stage, refining. About 90% of global lithium passes through Chinese plants before being transformed into something useful. All it takes is an embargo, political tension, or a simple logistical mishap, and the entire system collapses. The search for alternatives, therefore, is not just about innovation, but about industrial survival. And aluminum, being widely available and local, emerges as an unexpected hero in this scenario. While the world worries about trade wars, tariffs, and blocked shipping routes, aluminum is already there waiting to be used. With over 700 million tons in global reserves and a presence in over 50 countries, it represents a concrete, immediate, and above all, viable alternative. The difference is stark. Lithium costs up to seven times more than aluminum and requires an intensive and polluting refining process. Tesla saw this contrast as the perfect opportunity for a historic breakthrough. The choice of aluminum also has environmental implications that cannot be ignored. Each kilowatt hour of lithium-ion batteries generates, on average, 2.2 tons of CO2. And although electric cars are marketed as clean, the production of these batteries raises serious sustainability questions. Aluminum, on the other hand, is infinitely recyclable, has a lower carbon footprint, and enables a circular economy from the outset. Tesla isn't just changing materials, it's changing the paradigm. To complete this puzzle, there's a factor few discuss. U.S. industrial policy. By abandoning lithium, Tesla automatically aligns itself with federal subsidies under the Inflation Reduction Act, guaranteeing tax breaks, vehicle credits, and logistics incentives. This makes local production of aluminum batteries not only viable, but financially irresistible. It's as if every cell produced in the U.S. receives an invisible bonus, helping Tesla win the race for the cheapest electric car on the planet. And it's precisely this car, the Model 2, that bears the brunt of this revolution. A compact vehicle designed for affordability and produced on a global scale, it can leave the factory with a battery that doesn't depend on lithium or China. Tesla's move is risky, but incredibly well calculated nipping the monopoly in the bud before it becomes an irreversible bottleneck. Now that aluminum has entered the game, 
the next step promises to be even more surprising. The inclusion of aluminum in Tesla's batteries raises an inevitable question. What exactly is so special about this material that it threatens the entire logic of today's electric power industry? The answer lies in a rare combination of abundance, safety, and technical performance. Unlike lithium, which can catch fire or explode under certain conditions, aluminum is naturally more stable. And we're not just talking about a technical detail. This is a game changer for those who fear parking their car in the garage at night and waking up to a burning car. The new aluminum ion batteries can operate between 50 degrees C and below 150 degrees C, meaning they can function in both brutal winters and scorching sun without the need for complicated cooling systems. This alone represents significant energy savings for the vehicle. And if that seems like a small amount, consider the magic number, 15,000 charge cycles. That's more than double the best lithium ion batteries available today. In practice, this means the battery will outlast the car, literally. Another impressive feature is the recharge time. Laboratory tests have already shown that these batteries can charge up to three times faster than lithium ion batteries. A car that previously took 40 minutes to reach 80% charge can now reach that level in less than 15. In some models, a full recharge can happen in just five minutes, the time it takes to grab a quick coffee before getting back on the road. This isn't just a technological advancement. It directly addresses the main objection the average consumer has when buying an electric car. And speaking of consumption, weight also matters. Aluminum batteries are up to 65% lighter than lithium batteries with the same energy capacity. This has a direct impact on vehicle efficiency, which consumes less energy per kilometer driven, in addition to improving acceleration, handling, and even braking performance. It's like giving the car a lighter, more agile body without compromising power. And of course, this also reduces wear on mechanical parts, which means fewer visits to the repair shop and more money in the driver's pocket. Economically, the impact is enormous. The cost per kilowatt hour could drop from $150 to around $50, a reduction of up to 75%. This completely changes the cost equation for electric cars, which still face the biggest challenger today, battery prices. If Tesla can maintain these numbers at scale, it will be the first automaker in the world to deliver a high-quality electric car for under $20,000, without relying on any minerals controlled by foreign powers. This isn't a step forward, it's a leap. Sustainability also plays a key role in this calculation. Aluminum is 95% recyclable, and this reuse process consumes only 5% of the energy required to produce the raw material. This means that, in addition to being cheaper and more durable, aluminum batteries have a much cleaner and more efficient life cycle. Unlike lithium batteries, which generate tons of toxic waste and greenhouse gases, aluminum batteries can be reused repeatedly without losing performance. In practice, this means that the same material can be used in multiple generations of vehicles, making the creation of a truly circular economy feasible. Something that until now was more of a dream than a reality. Imagine a world where your old car's battery becomes the power source for a home, a truck, or another vehicle. This reduces not only the environmental impact, but also the cost to the end consumer. And that's where things start to get really interesting. With these advantages in hand, Tesla begins to build a new paradigm, one of safer, more affordable and sustainable vehicles, all with technology that doesn't require China's blessing. The revolution isn't just in the lab, it's being forged in the details of a new industrial model, where each battery cell represents a break with the past. And at the center of it all is the Model 2, the car that will carry not only passengers, but the weight of a promise that the entire world is beginning to take seriously. The promise of an affordable electric car has always been on the lips of automakers, but it never truly materialized until now. With the aluminum ion battery taking shape, Tesla is about to deliver something that seemed impossible, the Model 2, a complete, modern, and powerful car. 
costing around 17 to 195 vers. And we're not talking about a basic vehicle full of cuts and limitations. This is a Tesla with all the essential features, ready to run for decades, and which, with tax incentives, can cost less than $11,000. This step change isn't just due to battery cost. The manufacturing process itself has been optimized. With the new, simpler, lighter cells, pack assembly is up to 10 times faster. This reduces labor, energy consumption, and factory space. At the same time, aluminum can be sourced locally, cutting the logistics costs that used to drive up entry-level models. The result? A car produced faster, cheaper, and with fewer parts, something that will put even Chinese automakers on alert. But the impact goes beyond price. The Model 2 will be the first Tesla that can be recharged in less than five minutes. That's the same time it takes to fill up a gasoline car, but with the advantage of using clean energy and a range of up to 400 kilometers. For city dwellers, this means being able to charge the car during a coffee break or while waiting for an order at the curbside. And for those living in remote areas, the idea of recharging without the need for a complex thermal system is a game changer. With its low price and long recharge times, the Model 2 is now reaching a target audience previously ignored by the electric car market. Retirees, newly employed young people, low-income families, informal workers, and even veterans. People who, until recently, viewed electric cars as luxury toys and now see them as a real opportunity to save money in the long run. A car that charges quickly lasts for decades, and doesn't require significant maintenance shifts, the balance for those who need reliable mobility. Another key point is the cost per kilometer driven. With the aluminum battery being lighter and more efficient, the Model 2's energy consumption will be lower than any Tesla ever produced. This translates into lower energy bills, fewer stops at the charger, and less wear and tear on the system as a whole. In the long run, the car's cost of ownership becomes so low that it begins to pay for itself, something that until a few years ago was reserved for corporate fleets or high-performance models. Maintenance is also on the list of advantages. Because it has fewer moving parts and a simpler battery structure, the Model 2 will require fewer visits to the repair shop. No more constant fluid changes, no more overheating, and far fewer problems with complex electronic systems. The battery's durability, designed to last 25 years or more, ensures that owners won't need to face that dreaded battery replacement midway through the car's lifespan. From an affordability perspective, this represents a quiet revolution. For the first time, millions of people will be able to buy a new, high-tech car without having to go into debt for decades. For those living paycheck to paycheck, this is freedom. It's the chance to drive something that isn't outdated, unsafe, or polluting, without relying on promotions or leasing gimmicks. Tesla is, for the first time, offering something that truly approaches the concept of a mass-market electric car. And the most curious thing of all is that, despite being cheaper, the Model 2 isn't making any compromises. It's lighter, more efficient, faster to charge, and, ironically, more robust than many premium models on the market. The secret lies not just in the battery, but in the entire ecosystem it enables. And with this, Tesla isn't just launching a new car. It's redesigning what it means to have access to true electric mobility. Behind this new, accessible reality lies an invisible intelligence that transforms the way batteries work. Tesla didn't stop at using aluminum. It reinvented the very concept of how energy is distributed within a vehicle. Instead of discharging energy evenly, as in conventional batteries, this new technology uses small autonomous groups called dynamic clusters, which are only activated when needed. It sounds like science fiction, but this is precisely what increases battery life and optimizes every mile driven. These clusters function like mini batteries within the battery. If the car is only going to drive two blocks, only a small part of the system is activated. If it's going to hit the highway, 
the modules activate in a chain, always regulating energy use based on terrain, speed, and even the driver's habits. This not only reduces internal wear and tear on the cells, but also improves performance in every situation, extending the system's lifespan by up to 30%. In other words, the battery adapts to the driver's lifestyle. Additionally, Tesla has added a new physical reinforcement to the edges of the system called a solid anti-degradation structure, which prevents the formation of the infamous dendrites, those tiny metal needles that destroy lithium batteries from the inside over time. This prevents internal short circuits and allows the battery to reach up to 15,000 charge cycles with less than 5% capacity loss. In a typical scenario, this means up to 4 million kilometers without needing to replace the battery. Something simply unthinkable until now. Another important advancement is the self-regulating thermal layers. Instead of relying on active heating or cooling systems, the battery uses materials that adjust themselves to the ambient temperature. This not only reduces the car's weight, but also eliminates failure points and improves energy efficiency. And the best part? Even after three months of parking in the garage, the car only loses 0.1% of its charge per month. This means that even those who use the vehicle infrequently will always have energy available, without any surprises or surprises. All this technology was built to last and save money. For those on a tight budget or who depend on their car for work, the difference is dramatic. Fewer recharges, less maintenance, less worry. And most amazingly, this entire system works silently, without user intervention. There's no need to adjust anything, activate modes, or understand engineering. Just drive. It's like having an electric brain taking care of the battery extending its lifespan, and delivering maximum performance without requiring any effort. With this onboard intelligence, the battery also responds better to emergency situations. If one of the clusters experiences wear or failure, the system automatically redirects power to the healthy modules without compromising the car's range or performance. This type of active redundancy gives the vehicle unprecedented resilience similar to that seen in commercial aircraft. In other words, even if something goes wrong, the car continues to operate safely and efficiently. This level of robustness changes everything about consumers' relationship with electric cars. The old anxiety about battery life or the fear of being left stranded begins to disappear. Model 2 owners will be able to trust the system as much as they trust a combustion engine, perhaps even more. With this new reliability standard, Tesla is establishing a milestone that will pressure its competitors to rethink their designs and accelerate the phase-out of lithium-ion batteries. And all of this happens without the consumer realizing it. On the outside, the car remains a modern, compact, and lightweight hatchback. But on the inside, it's performing tasks previously only available in military or aeronautical systems. This new generation of intelligent battery transforms the Model 2 not just into a more affordable vehicle, but into a long-lasting companion. A car that takes care of itself, understands what it needs to do, and simply works.